Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust your clutch pedal height and clutch pedal free play. If you have an aftermarket clutch or if you have a stock clutch and you want to get rid of second gear grinds and poor disengagement issues. This goes for eighth generation Civic SIs, also the RSX Type S, otherwise known as the Honda Integra DC5. Uh, basically, you're going to want to change the height on this adjustment right here. And you're going to need three tools. You're going to need needle nose pliers. Just take off a clip up here. You're going to want a 17 mil line wrench in order to crack the lock nut on the clutch height adjustment. You're going to want a 12 mil line wrench. And that is to loosen the lock nut on the actual clutch master cylinder free play adjustment. Essentially, if you have a stock clutch master cylinder, um, you're going to want to increase the amount of uh, release travel that the clutch pedal actually has. So you're going to be raising the clutch pedal height, and then you're going to be adjusting the free play. And I'll show you how to do all that um, in just a sec. All right, so take your needle nose pliers and go ahead and press on this clip here. Press in and pull out. Now you can undo this clip right here. Now you're gonna have to press in on this little tab right up there. So you can use your needle nose pliers to press in on that and then you just pull this out. Pull that out. Now this will be free. We're gonna undo this nut right there with a 17 mil. Crack it free. like that. Now this nut will spin up. Give yourself some room. Then you're going to want to look underneath this part and you're going to see how many threads are actually showing on the bottom side of this. This is the adjustment here, the adjustment uh, screw. For the stock CMC stock clutch you're going to want to go to one thread showing on the bottom and then lock this down. For a aftermarket clutch, you know, action clutch, clutch masters, competition clutch, ACT, you're going to want to go to about a quarter or a half thread showing on the bottom. And that will actually increase the release travel. For heavy duty clutches, you're going to want to have more release travel. And for the stock clutch, you actually want to have more release travel too, um, more than they give you from the factory. That'll help with your clutch disengagement problems. And then for the uh, aftermarket EM1 style CMC, you're going to want to actually have five threads showing on the bottom. Okay? Five threads showing. It's going to be a lot shorter throw. Uh, if you go to one thread showing or half thread showing, uh, you're going to overstroke your clutch big time with the aftermarket EM1 style CMC. Alright, so once you have that adjusted to the right height, you're going to want to Basically you want to hold this and then tighten this clockwise with the line wrench until it's fairly snug. Now after you do that, you're going to take your 12 mil and you need to loosen the nut on the back of the push rod. You're going to want to loosen this nut right there. Get that on there. Ready to crack it? Okay. You're going to want to spin the nut out clockwise. Okay. Now that will give you some actual space for adjustment. Now this push rod should be able to rotate left and right, or sorry, counterclockwise and clockwise without any resistance. Now if you rotate it left, you'll come to a spot of resistance there. That's not what you want. You're going to want to rotate it to the right clockwise until you feel just a tad bit of pressure. Okay, got the pressure. Now you're going to want to spin it about a half turn back counterclockwise. Okay, 
then you're gonna wanna spin this nut back down this way, counterclockwise. And then tighten it to 12 mil. This, again, this is gonna tighten counterclockwise. You look at the actual rod, um, when you have the clutch master cylinder out, you can see actually how much the rod comes out before the clutch master cylinder stops the rod. And I do have some more space. You don't want the clutch master cylinder to actually stop the pedal. Um, there's a pedal stopper up here. You want the pedal stopper to actually stop the pedal. Um, in other words, when this clutch pedal comes up, it's gonna hit this stopper before it runs out of room here on the clutch master cylinder. You can damage your clutch master cylinder if you actually have it stopping uh, using the Gashko clutch master cylinder stop. Um, you don't want that. You can bend it and everything like that. So, but yeah, if you basically rotate the push rod clockwise until you feel just a tiny bit of resistance, then rotate it about half a turn back counterclockwise um, in order to ensure that you're not preloading the clutch, you're not actually putting any pressure on it uh, with the pedal out, uh, which would be very bad. And so once you get that, then you can kind of tighten it down, and then you're gonna actually check the amount of millimeter free play we have. I'll show you how to do that. So in order to calculate the amount of free play, you can take a millimeter ruler, position it in the middle of the clutch pedal, look on the bottom side, and look at the number, so it's at 14. Now if you push it down until a little bit of resistance, it goes down to about one or two less than 13, so that's 11 or 12 millimeters of free play. Now remember to hold this ruler down all the way into the carpet or take the carpet up. Otherwise hold it down the same amount the entire time and measure your free play. All right, so as you can see, I have about half a thread or a quarter thread showing on the bottom. This is my adjustment for my stage one action clutch, stock CMC. So if you go to about a quarter thread, half thread showing, and then about 11 or 12 millimeters of free play on the clutch pedal. Then that's absolutely perfect. For me, I mean, it, you push it down, disengages with plenty of space, bring it back up, it engages basically right in the middle, not too low, not too high. Uh, feels great, really smooth, easy. And um, yeah, the range for the free play is I believe 10 millimeters to 18 millimeters. I think that's what it is. So with about 11 or 12, you're right within the safe range and it engages properly, disengages properly. Everything is just great. Okay, like I said, so for this K-tuned clutch master cylinder, slave cylinder combo, it's an EM1 style uh, clutch master cylinder with stainless steel lines. Uh, your clutch height is gonna be different. You're gonna have five threads showing on the bottom of the clutch height adjustment. Uh, this is your push rod adjustment. So there would be a connector here that connects to the pedal, obviously. This is your lock nut. So loosen this, right, give yourself some space. This will be connected here. You spin this rod here. If you go to the left, you'll, you'll go to a certain point and then you'll run into resistance. That's not the way you wanna go. Yeah, go to the left first, back it out, then rotate it to the right. And this will actually reduce the amount of free play until you get to the diaphragm and you'll start to feel, so you'll rotate it, you start to feel, ooh, resistance, okay? And then you go half a turn out, then you can lock this down. Just lock it down just tight enough, not too tight at all. Um, just, just slightly tight until you actually know that your free play adjustment is the way you want it. Um, and then you can test out the car, see how it feels, right? And you can measure the free play and things like that. But don't adjust this, don't lock this too tight because the connector here also runs on these threads. And so when you go to turn this, um, there'll be resistance on the threads and you won't know exactly when you get run into resistance on the diaphragm. So you won't be able to get your free play adjustment just right. So it'll make things difficult. So just lock this down 
to slightly tight and then once you get it all perfect the way you want it after driving and stuff like that then you can lock it down a little tighter.